The Immortal John Hancock here, and got latest from Songbird Productions. They're reprinting some rare new on games. The latest release is Tempest 3000 in conjunction with Atari. This is a licensed re release and it's awesome. I'm going to do an unboxing, talk about why this is a reprint done right. So sit back, relax. Here we go. So here it is. This is from Songbird Productions. They've been doing aftermarket releases for 25 years. That's crazy. That's a long time. And they've done some great things. I've covered many of their products on my channel. And I think they're a great company. They also are hosting a JAGFest 2024. You can find more information about that. Songbirdproductions.com I, I would love to go. I was invited. I just can't make it. Anyways... Uh, this is their third release, I do believe, for the new one. And this is awesome that they teamed up with Atari to do a one-run reprint of a pretty rare game. This game goes for a couple hundred bucks. And you know what? To get a reprint of it, uh, you know, new shiny object for about 80 bucks. And uh, this is a, a small release. And so, you know, I don't know how many copies of the... Uh, the new one he plans to sell but it's pretty awesome that he's doing it taking the risk uh you know paying uh probably a licensing fee and anyways done right working with uh you know the license holders and doing an official release pretty awesome anyways the game was programmed by jeff mentor and uh you know if you're a mentor fan you know this is kind of the forgotten tempest that he did uh yes there was a tempest for the new one and uh, you know what? You know I think uh, Tempest 2000 is is probably like the the peak of what he did for Tempest. But you know what? Some people like Tempest 4000. I like Tempest 2000 on the Jaguar. Uh, Tempest 3000 is pretty trippy, but here it is, and it's an excellent release. I'm going to compare it to the original. I do have the original. I did a video dedicated to my new on collection, and so it's awesome that they went with the original Atari logo. Versus the Hasbro logo, which that's who owned Atari at the time. And uh, you know what? It just looks better. Yeah, there's slight color variation. Everything you would want in a reprint so you can distinguish it from the original release. The original release had a, uh, a gold DVD shell and a case. But yeah, there's slight variations so that you can distinguish between the two. I like that. That's how a reprint should be done uh, to satisfy people to pick it up and it's, you know, uh, official. So if you're missing this game and don't want to pay for the original, you can get the reprint. And it's official, so it counts. I would consider it completing a set if you're missing it. Here is my new one deck. I have the Samsung version N501. And here you go with a Logitech controller. And these are very expensive, but I love the Logitech controller for the new one. I have two, one used and one new in box. Anyways, here is another release that Songbird Productions offers. And this is Iron Soldier 3 and another great game for the new one. So if you want to pick up another good game, this is uh, pretty tough to get, especially original release. And it's nice that they offer a re-release. And they also have a N64 controller adapter for your new one where you can use an N64 controller on your new one. Anyways, capturing footage using a RetroTINK 5X. Warning, flashing lights ahead. And this is a trippy game. So it has lots of flashing lights. So, uh, you know, seizure warnings. Anyways, this is just a bizarre release. And it is a, an odd... The oddball for the Tempest releases, in my opinion. Uh, it's trippy. It's got some funny things in it. I'm not the best player. Uh, going into options and oddities, there's some interesting things here. You can have it essentially uh, randomly do names. And, and so each stage will have just a, a funny comical name. And so, yeah, lots of different options here. Anyways, this is a trippy game. Uh, you wouldn't expect anything less from Jeff Minter. And, uh, you know, for some people, they love this release. Uh, you know what? And you're probably wondering, why is it, it kind of like out of focus? 
that's kind of this release <laughs> to be honest it's 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 just that's how it plays and that's how it looks and but you know what it's it's classic tempest and you can do a one or two player game there's password features you can choose a max level um yeah lots of neat things here i just wanted to show some gameplay and you know show a rare game playing on a new one like how many times am i going to be able to you know get out my new one hook it up and capture some footage not often you know and i like capturing my own footage and you know what showing rare stuff like this this is the type of stuff i like to share on my channel and you know what a lot of people have never seen this release so yeah it's it's got tempest it's got power-ups it's got trippiness flashing lights all around so so please you know just a fair warning and wanted to show this game have some <laughs> have some hamburger haircut what so yeah lots of different bonuses and the instruction manual kind of talks about the crazy power-ups uh eat electric death you know from uh, the original and uh yeah it's got sub several of the enemies and types from the original just really trippy wanted to show several levels nice balance too i kind of feel this is a game where you can uh just chill and play you know if you like these types of games uh an easier release is tempest 4000 and tempest 4000 is on many different platforms including the atari vcs yes and uh, that is a version of this uh, of a mentor uh, tempest that might be easier to get now there also is the llama soft collection and you may want to go that route that was just released by digital eclipse and that has tempest 2000 on it or the atari 50 but the llama soft collection if you're a jeff mentor fan uh that that was recently released and affordable and it's on all major modern platforms steam xbox playstation and i do believe switch uh, but yeah it, it does include tempest 2000 which i think is the best of the tempest series but yeah it's it's uh this is a cool this is a cool release and definitely if you're wanting a game for the new one uh, you know, for for 80 bucks, you know, you want you want it to be a player, and this is definitely a player and trippy, and you could uh, impress friends by saying, "Hey, my DVD player can play video games." Everybody's like, "What?" That's right. You know, this was such a dismal failure as a platform. It would just came out at a bad time. You know, everybody was saving their hard-earned money for PlayStation. Um, that was the DVD player that played video games that everybody bought. Not a new one. Uh, ironically enough, I've found about six of these over the years. Mostly this model, which is, I do believe, the best model to get in the U.S. There's a couple different models overseas, and and uh, Nuon Dome is a great website for more information about the new one. Any information I know about the new one, I got from there. And uh, I'm not an expert of this obscure platform but i do have a complete collection and uh, i really have appreciated it for an oddity you know for an oddball console that you are not going to play every day you can't you you can go much worse than a new one you know at least it was trying to be an actual game system it has a decent processor and i uh, can do 3d games um yeah so this is one of the better games uh, I, again, I had a video that I covered all the, the releases, and you may want to check it out for yourself. Have you played a new one? What is your favorite game on this obscure platform? In the comments, let me know. You can follow the link where you can check out Jaguar Links, Evercade, as well as New On, including their N64 adapter for the New On. They have three games for the New On that you can pick up. This is a limited release, one run. And so I wouldn't wait on this. The first release is super expensive and you can pre-order it now. It's gonna be released very soon. Anyways, what do you think of this game? Are you a Mentor fan? In the comments below, let me know. Anyways, thank you so much for viewing this video. If you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is the Immortal John Hancock and you take care.